Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today is going to be the final day of fall, which means it's our last possible chance to get anything that we can only get in the fall, which I think will mainly include fish. But there could be other things as well. Uh, there's also the Nautilus shell, which is also on the beach, so that's uh, that's definitely going to be one place that I'm going to be going today. Uh, but in addition to that, I think we need to be making general preparations for the winter tomorrow because all of these crops are going to die and they're not going to be replaced by any other crops because you can't grow crops in the winter, with the exception of the uh, the foraging seeds, which I uh, I can't actually make those yet. I'm just going to show you guys if I can find them. Yeah, so I need a, I need all of these things. I've, I think I've got a spare winter root, but the other stuff I'm going to need another copy of everything, so... Yeah, I, for a long while it's not going to be possible to grow anything. The amount of money that we're making is going to go way down. And uh, we're just going to need to be prepared for it in general. It's going to be something pretty different to anything we've experienced so far. So it should be quite interesting if nothing else, but not 100% sure that I'm prepared for it at this stage. Uh, annoyingly, if you saw the end of the last episode, I uh, accidentally used up a gold star pumpkin, which means that we can't complete the quality crops bundle until at least next fall. Um, and that means that we can't unlock the greenhouse until at least next fall, but um, it should be okay. As long as we get it by next winter, we'll at least we'll at least only have to deal with having one winter with no uh, with no greenhouse. And when we do get the greenhouse, we we actually will be able to grow stuff in the winter. So it's probably just going to be this one winter where we're literally just dealing with having no crops at all for an entire season. It's also pick up. Any last crops that we can manage. Uh, it's also going to be time to finally pick up the fairy roses. Although I'm going to I'm going to leave that to the last possible moment in the hope that we might get a tiny bit more fairy rose honey today. So let's pick up the amaranth and the corn. And I can't see anything else. Just glancing over this, I can't see anything else that's going to be possible to pick up. There's a few, I think, pumpkin seeds or possibly artichoke here that are just not going to get done. There are actually quite a few crops that I can see that just aren't going to get done now, so that kind of sucks. Let's just check what the mail is. Noro, I'm really glad you've become a part of our community. I've enclosed 500 gold check from Stardew Valley Agricultural Farm to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Well, that would be utterly pointless because everything is going to die tomorrow. Um, have I saved any amaranth? I might not have actually, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go put that away along with the corn. Uh, I don't think I need this bream, but if I do, I think it'll be in the river fish bundle. Do I need a bream? No, not on there. I'll check the lake fish bundle just to be sure. Lake fish bundle? No, I don't need a bream for anything. Night fish? Oh, okay. Night fish, I need a bream. I also need a walleye and an eel. So yeah, uh, I think I think fishing would be a very good thing to be doing today. While we can. Let's grab this. And let's put some more in. The crab pots at least will keep producing for the whole of the winter, as will the animals. And uh, we'll be able to make money in other ways. I think, from what I can tell, the best thing to do with winter is to upgrade a bit of everything. Uh, I didn't mean to come in here, but sure, I'll pick up... So oh, I can't. I don't have room. Okay. Let's move on. Um, the best thing to do with the winter is to to upgrade all your tools, to do a lot of fishing, a lot of uh, a lot of going into the mines and sorting things out there. And I'm going to sell that pumpkin. Keep the bream because we need that. But uh, I've got a lot of I got a lot of stuff here that I don't actually want to get rid of, so I'm going to have to find a place for a lot of this. Uh, let's say. Amaranth, I do actually have six of those in there, but I'm going to put another one in there just to be safe. Uh, corn, that can go in there. Maple syrup would be useful for a bee house, but it might be a bit too late for that now, so I'm actually going to drop it off in here. Um, hmm. I could use the snail, not the bream, I want to save the bream. I want to see if I can make... A maki, not maki roll, a sashimi with just a snail. Does that work? Because that would be pretty awesome if it does. I could actually make maki roll as well. But like, if I can make this with a snail, that's going to be awesome because snails are really not worth much. Yeah, I can. Okay. So there we go. We now have a way to actually make decent amounts of money off these snails and the periwinkles and other things that wouldn't normally be particularly useful. 
Uh, let's put away one bit of wheat so that we can drop the other 10 bits off in the fodder bundle. And... I can't see anything else particularly important here. We have five geodes actually, so that would be an easy way to clear up some space. So let's uh, let's head over to town now. All right, let's break open these geodes. See what we get. This I'm expecting to be the best one, so let's hope for something actually decent. I think that's new. Tiger's eye, yeah, I'm sure that's new, so that's good. Frozen tear. Yeah, I've had loads of those. I think I've had that as well, whatever that is, Esperite, I'm pretty sure we've had that before, and Clay, that's completely useless. One normal geode, I think we've also had that. Okay, it's getting it's getting harder and harder to get new things from these, I'm starting to notice. Let's just uh, donate what we do have. Oh, I forgot the skeletal tail, I forgot the skeletal tail, that's another thing that we have to donate at some point. Alright, let's put this in at least. Alright, no reward from that, but I expect that we will get a reward, possibly, next time we give in the skeletal tail. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the rest of this stuff that we got at the blacksmiths. Assuming that it does feature in our collection, I'm sure it does. Number found, yeah, it's number found, not number shipped, so it's fairly okay to sell them here. So I'll get rid of I could sell the fire quartz. I'm not sure what to do with the fire quartz. I don't want the frozen tier. Don't want the Esperite, and I swear there was one more. I swear there was one, yeah, the Sandstone. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And that's gonna be that. Now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is head down to the beach. Really, really, really hope that a Nautilus shell is gonna be there, because it's, it's our last chance to get one of those. But I'm not feeling very hopeful, we've not had one yet for the entire season, so I don't see why it would happen now. Nope. <laughs> no sign of any, damn it. Okay. Alright, so that's another thing that we're going to have to wait for uh, an entire year in order to get another one of. On the upside, we do now have more crab pots than ever, so lots of loot to grab here. Let me just put the bait in all of these if I can. Or oh, it looks like I've already done that. Pick this up, and what trash did I pick up? A soggy newspaper. Let's get rid of that. I don't think we're going to get a Nautilus shell on this side, but we can hope. No, okay. So that's it then, we're not going to get one. We're not going to be able to finish the field research bundle until fall next year, which is absolutely ages away. It's okay though. I mean, we've got lots of other stuff we can do before then. I just want to sell all this stuff now so I don't have to be carrying it around all day. So let's do that. Let's get rid of... The lobster... I feel like the lobster might be useful for something. We might have got a quest or something that we needed it for. No. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna sell it then. Sell that, sell that, and sell those. Now, I could buy the Iridium Rod, but I think this is actually a good day to be, uh, to be... to be buying fruit trees, because it takes fruit trees a month, a month to grow. They do actually grow in the they do actually grow in the winter. So if you buy the spring if you buy the spring fruit trees now, then it'll actually uh, it'll actually be ready for the first day of spring. Okay. Yeah, so let's go buy those. What I'm going to need is and I have planned this out a little bit. I know exactly where I need to put them, but uh, I haven't like super organized it. I've actually got a sheet of paper next to me with the uh, the precise Almost like the precise coordinates of where I want to be planting these things, because I'm going to put them in like a a nice cross pattern that will look cool when you see the farm like overhead, like the entire farm. So what I need is cherries and apricots. Those are the spring ones, right? Yes, they are. Okay, so that's good. That's what we thought. So we're going to need one of those, one of those. In fact, what I need to do is just keep buying one of each, just so we get like a nice even number. Like so. Okay, I'm actually getting more than I thought. Alright, I'm not going to complain. And this will be my last one, I think. Probably worth having at least 2,000 spare just in case I need it. Um, I don't have any rice. Uh, I'm going to... I don't need it now, though. I'm just... Yeah, I don't need rice. Let's leave that. Alright, so something else I want to do now is uh, do, do a little bit more fishing in the river. Just while we have a chance, because it won't be long now until it's not possible to get whatever we can get in the autumn anymore. Hey, the grid ball game is on today. I I don't know that. Is that a, is that a real sport? I don't. I, I've not heard of that. 
Yeah, let's have something different this time. I don't know if this is the the Riverfish bundle. Like, ri no, river, not Riverfish bundle. I don't know if this gets, like, normal Riverfish or something different to that. But I definitely want to be trying to get something. Something unique while we still can on this final day. This looks t way too easy to be something new. What is it? Smallmouth bass. Yeah, we've had that before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head out to the left and try out in the uh, in the normal river, the river that I'm more used to, which will hopefully be a bit more productive. Say hi to Abigail just to get those friendship points up. She always says she's going to dye her hair and then it just never ever happens. Alright, so let's try... This general area here, I think that should be a little bit more likely to give us what we want. Which is just anything. Anything we haven't had before. Whoa, we just walked straight through Lewis. Are you doing your best on the farm, Nora? You'll have to accomplish things in many areas if you want to become a well-rounded citizen. Why does no one else have this, this like, massive weight of expectation on their shoulders? So yeah, let's see what we can get. I'm probably going to speed this up, just in case it turns out to be a bit crap. This looks different, actually. I've changed my mind. This is definitely... This feels like something we've never had before. This is really weird. Like, the way it's jumping up and down. This is something different. I'm sure of it. I, I don't want to lose it. It's getting harder. Oh, it's getting harder. I'm switching from the holding down to the rapid clicking. In the hopes that it'll slightly increase my... Oh, shit. I'm not talking anymore. It's distracting. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god, that was hard. I hope I get that again. Okay, this time I am going to speed it up until we actually catch something. Okay, we got a salmon. That's new, but it, it felt slightly different to whatever we lost earlier. So I feel like there could be something more than just salmon here, but that is new. So if that's something we can only get in the fall, that's, uh, that's definitely a good catch. We also run out of space for things. I could eat the sashimi. I could eat the chub. I think I will eat the chub because I really don't care to have a chub. Always have chubs. <laughs> this is not very good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try running around so that we can actually fish in the uh, the deeper the deeper looking patch. I don't know if that'll increase our chances of getting something, but it's worth a shot, I think. Whatever this is, this is it. This is what we struggled with last time, a tiger trout. I'm sure that's what we struggled with last time. A rare hybrid trout that cannot bear its offspring of its own. Okay, so that's really interesting. That might actually be one of the fish we need for a bundle. Um, what should I get rid of here? Probably... Probably the green algae, which is just only slightly worse than the, uh, than the bream. But yeah, we definitely don't need green algae for something. So yeah, that's, that's new. Tiger trout. We've got two new fish today. That's pretty productive, actually. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to get from this particular area. But what I might do is go and fish on the beach at night, because I know that we don't normally fish at night on the beach, so it's going to be our last chance to do something like that. Let's just check on here if this is one of the things. And I need the bream for that. Lake fish, sturgeon's what we need. River fish, tiger trout. Okay, so perfect. We now just need a shad. And once we've got a shad, we will finish the river fish bundle. But that's really good, because uh, I don't know if, that's, well, that was, if that was our last chance to get one of those tiger trout. It might only appear in the fall. And if that is the case, then uh, we definitely got quite lucky there. Hmm. Thing is, I don't have I don't have any space right now to to do much more fishing. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to run back to the farm and plant these saplings in the places I said I would. 
probably interact with the animals and stuff while I'm there. And then uh, with the with the last possible bit of the day, I'll probably head over to the beach. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go. <laughs> I need to I need to concentrate for a minute just to just to get this right. Okay, so the the idea is you start off one there, and then you go one there, and then you go one more down there, and this should be the location, kind of roughly in the middle, that I wanted to start off my my big tree crop in. Starting off with a cherry tree. If that's right, I hope that's right. <laughs> if not, it might just have to be the opposite way around to the way I planned. This is this is purely cosmetic, you know. It's not it's not anything uh, genuinely important. I just I just want the farm to look nice because everyone's done this thing where you have a really awesome farm that looks brilliant and so on and so on and so on. And like it's good, but I think. People aren't really impressed by it anymore. You can easily get a farm where you have shitloads of ancient fruit, shitloads of star fruit, shitloads of wine, and you're just making absolutely loads of money. But it's just that everyone's already done that, and so the only thing really left to do that's really unique with this game, at this point, I would say, is to just make your farm look nice, make it look a bit different to what everyone else has done. I think this is directly below. So that goes there. Too close to another tree, are you sure? Oh yeah, it is actually, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That Yeah, that does make sense. Two, one, two. Yep, okay, that's fine. And then there should be one more cherry tree. Just... Here. That seems really spaced apart, but once they're fully grown, they'll seem a little bit closer to each other than they do now. So that's the cherry tree in the middle there, and then it spreads out in a kind of cross shape. What the hell? Can I not plant one there? Why? Oh, I can, I can, I can. <laughs> that worried me then. Alright, so that one goes there. Um, another one there. And... One there, so that's kind of like a cross formation. And then we kind of do the same thing with the cherries. Too close to another tree, okay. Do the same thing with these, and it'll just kind of look quite cool in the spring when it's all blossomed and it's different different trees kind of interacting with each other. Not interacting, but intersecting, I guess you could say. Um, is that right? Yes. And there's one more space just to the south of here, which I need to use the scythe for. Oh my god, it's late. Oh my god. You know what? Screw the trees. <laughs> Screw the trees. It's time. It's time to go get whatever whatever last ditch fishing we can do done right now. Um. I'm almost tempted to eat the maple syrup, but that's really not a good decision. Uh, I don't really care for the oysters. I'm actually going to throw them to the... Damn it. Screw it. You know what? The eggs will still be there tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to get a move on, run down to the beach. And I'm probably I'm tempted to actually just stay fishing on the beach until we pass out. We get one last fairy rose honey, which is cool. Oh, no. Okay. We're in trouble because uh, there's not much time. There's not much time to do anything now. Alright, so let's think about this. Uh, let's drop off these things. Let's just drop off everything we don't immediately need. And that's definitely going to be enough space there. Let's sell the oysters, because they are totally useless to us, except maybe a sashimi. I could make sashimi out of them, but I don't really have time to be thinking about that right now. I want to gather up the fairy rose honey. Not the fairy rose honey, the fairy roses themselves. Finally, they've been growing for the entire season, and they're finally being acknowledged. Uh, I'm gonna put those away as well. Actually, got a wild honey. Okay. Oh, is that because I picked it up afterwards? Okay, so since it's just a normal wild honey, I actually have an idea with that that could actually save us. Now that it's not really worth selling anymore, something interesting we could now do is the farm warp token, which we need 20 fiber, one honey, which we do have. It's really not worth very much. Uh, one hardwood, one eye. Iron bar? Shit. Oh no, that's okay, that's the wrong thing. Honey, yeah. Honey, fiber, and hardwood. Yeah, we got loads of that stuff, so... We can do that. Right, so 20 of those. One of these. Open up the... I could actually make the warp totem to the beach as well, I think. For that I need two coral there, and I don't have two coral to spare, but... 
should be able to at least make it back here. And all that will happen is, with the saplings I haven't yet got around to planting, it'll just be like they'll they'll finish off one day later than the other ones. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell one fairy rose so that we can say we've sold it for the uh, for the achievement and so on. And what I'm gonna do now is dash to the beach, do whatever we can until about until about two a.m. Catch whatever we can, and then I think that will be the end the end of fall. I'm so I'm so worried that I've forgotten something else that's really important to do, but. All I can really think about is the uh, the cherry sapling. Oh, I haven't I haven't petted the animals, but that's not really a big deal at all. Like some people, some people are like religiously devoted to their animals, and they are determined to go and pet them every single day. But I don't think there's any particularly terrible consequences to just not really doing that. Some more torches from the recycling machine. I just don't care about that though. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, go to the end of the pier and catch some fish while we can. I think the further away you are from land, the better fish you get or something. That's something I've heard in the past. So we're going to try that out. This feels incredibly underwhelming, <laughs> just from how unbelievably easy it is. What is it? It's an anchovy. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up, and we'll see what we can get between now and about 1.40am. And that'll be the end of fall. Okay, ancient doll, and two geodes, an artifact, two geodes, that's actually awesome. Wow, okay. That's really cool, I like that. We got, we actually got something really unique from the, uh, from the fishing chest, so that's quite cool. Anyway, let's carry on with the normal fishing for now. Okay, there was like this one fish that was just unbelievably difficult, unbelievably difficult to catch that I didn't manage to get. So whatever it is, I'm hoping it'll still be there in the winter. Crap, 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 can't go that way. Oh no, we're gonna pass out. We're gonna pass out. Oh dear. Okay. I really hope that's not gonna be a 1000 gold fine, but I have a feeling it is because it nearly always is now. Achievement unlocked homesteader. Is that 250k? Yes it is. Okay. 250k from that. Fishing. 80 gold. <laughs> Useless oysters. Barely worth more than one sashimi. Anyway, here we are in the winter. Interesting. So everything's going to be dead. The Even the... Ugh. After wasting our gold pumpkin on this stupid jack-o'-lantern, it's, it's gone. It's dead. How do we pick that up? Rotten plant. I'm guessing that we can't recycle it, but I will try. Alright, okay, so that was a bit of a shame. Uh, potentially we missed some kind of extremely rare fish there. Whoa, look at this. Wow, things look very different. The animals are not going to be coming out, so I should probably shut that. This is interesting. One thing I absolutely love about this game is the way the atmosphere of the game just changes so much between the seasons. Like, already this this feels extremely different to what we've had before. Anyway, let's uh, let's recycle this stuff. Yeah, it looks like we can't, we can't do that. Okay, so this really is just completely useless. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually sort out the farm, which would be a bit, a bit tedious, so I'm gonna speed it up. I'm gonna move all the sprinklers around, and actually I'm gonna start building a path on the farm so that we can actually kind of mark things out and since, since we have so much space now and we no longer have absolute shitloads of grass to be cleaning up, it's actually fairly safe at this stage to start planning the farm more, more properly. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. I'll see you guys in just a moment.
What the hell? This cranberry plant is still alive. How... How's that happened? <laughs> we have a surviving cranberry. That would be amazing. If, I, I assume it'll die tomorrow. I, I, I doubt this can just keep going. But that's really cool. That would be so good if we could just keep this one crop alive for the for the rest of the season. I, I doubt that's going to work. But damn it, I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm moving all the sprinklers into a kind of more organized positioning. I think that's actually, yeah, I need more space between them than that. So that I can, uh, so that I can still, well, firstly, I need to move the, the damn torch out of the way. Okay. Firstly, what I need to do is I need to, uh, I need to have them ready for the, the next season, which is the spring when we'll be making a real proper farm again. But I, I also still want to just have a nice amount ready for, uh, for when we start growing some, uh, some winter foraging crops. So that's one, two. There needs to be three spaces between each of them. Pretty much the same as the, the same as the, uh, the saplings over there. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And yeah, just keep setting them up like that. So. Yeah, I'm still not done kind of organizing the farm. It's kind of, it's getting kind of late, but uh, there is a lot of just general labor to be done today. Something else is quite cool, actually, that I think I should address. We got some wool. We got some wool from, uh, from the sheep Maria. So it would be, a. Uh... oh my god, we're already down by seven. We're already down by seven on the first day. Um, oh yeah, that, that's just because I was feeding the chicken there, so that's fine. Yeah, we, we should now make a loom. Which is going to require some pine tar and some fiber, but I know that we can get pine tar fairly easily because there's there's been a pretty much constant stream of that stuff coming through from up here. Oh, we got some uh, we got some pumpkin juice. Excellent. Let's pick that up and sell it. I think that'll be worth quite a lot. Okay, this is yeah, this is going to take a little while to organize. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the loom, try and spin ourselves some. Actually, no, no, no. We might as well sell it. We might as well sell it since it is it's our first ever one. So. We kind of need to ship at least one so that it, the game will kind of verify that as being something we've shipped. But yeah, with the rest of the day, I kind of need to be getting back to it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna resume the time lapse now. Okay, so we haven't quite finished organizing the farm, but I think we've made a decent start. I managed to find a crystal fruit and a snow yam, which will we'll, we'll add to the winter route to at least have a start on the potential wild seeds. We still need to find ourselves a crocus, though, so I'm not sure where I would get one of those. But when we do find one, we'll be able to finish off the, the winter foraging bundle. On top of that, we have the tiger trout and at least one other thing, I'm sure, that we, uh, that we can con put in for the... Put in for the, uh, it's one of the fishing bundles, I can't remember which one right now. Can I plant these? No. Okay, so you can't, you cannot plant mixed seeds in the winter. That confirms that, I wasn't entirely sure. I haven't actually read the mail yet today. 
Linus has managed to save me from being charged, so that's nice. I found this in the drawer somewhere. I thought you could use it from Pam. Energy tonic. That's pretty useful, actually. Thank you, Pam. I've, no, I've not had one of those before, so I will quite gladly take that. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's actually awesome. That, that will actually recharge me for an entire energy bar, along with all my health. So, yeah, I'll definitely save that for the next time we go to the mines, I think. Uh, I didn't manage to sell the ancient doll or this, not to sell them, but to uh, to give them into the museum. The ancient doll or the skeletal tear. We also have two geodes. So that's going to be one place we can visit tomorrow. Uh, something else I'd like to do now that it's winter and there's not an awful lot of point of um, getting more animals. I mean, we can do that at some point, but like there's no urgent rush anymore. Something I'd quite like to do is to... Um, there was something else I'd like to do. <laughs> I can't remember, there was something else I'd definitely like to do now, now this winter, just while we can. Buy the Iridium Rod is one thing. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. I want to get a horse. I think we're about ready to get a horse. It's, we're going to be doing a lot of traveling this season, and it's going to be very useful to be able to do it more quickly. Um, I think we now, now that we have access to the Secret Woods, we can more feasibly actually go and sort stuff out. In terms of hardwood collection and stuff, which is the main obstacle that stopped us getting a sheep in the... Not a sheep. Main obstacle that stopped us getting a horse in the past. So yeah, at some point I definitely like to do that. Farming, we got an okay amount from the pumpkin juice and the pickle pumpkin. Pumpkin juice was worth slightly more than the pickle pumpkin, but pickle pumpkin was quicker to produce. So overall, I think pick pickled pumpkin is probably more efficient of the two. <laughs> fishing. Why does, that, why does the rotten plant count as fishing? It's worth literally nothing though. Anchovy, barely anything as well. Uh, the wool was actually worth a pretty nice amount, considering I haven't even turned it into cloth or anything. 2,000 gold coming in there, that, that kind of sums up how little income we're going to have from the farming compared to last season, so that could be a bit of a problem. Um, now that the farm is mostly organized... Oh no, the, <laughs> the surviving plant has died. It couldn't last. Damn it, okay. I guess I'm not surprised. So yeah, uh, with today, I think what I'm going to do is potentially head into the mines, although I might also go have a little bit of a hunt for a crocus, so that we can get the winter farm going, because I do want to have a winter farm, I think that's quite cool. Quite a cool concept. Um, but apart from that, I think it's just going to be standard stuff really, we're going to gather some hardwood, I think that's probably more important than going to the mines right now, gather some hardwood, start preparing for a potential horse and that'll, that'll speed everything up quite nicely we'll be able to go to a lot more places a lot more quickly um i could also think about where to plant my remaining saplings since i pretty much finished off the the cross design that i wanted for the fruit trees although i could extend it out like by like one on each side i'm not sure if i'm going to do that and i can't do it with a cherry anyway without it like not fitting in with the design i made so maybe i need to plan out the farm a little bit more but mostly i think what we're going to be doing is gathering more hardwood and getting ready to get a pet horse. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and I will see you next time.